I'm thinking I want to be like a queen, but I don't necessarily want to be like icicles. I want it to be like a, oh, she's out here and it's winter time, snowfall. That's what I want. Hi, I'm Shaquita and today we're going to be doing a winter wonderland photo shoot challenge where we have to stay within a budget of $150. Hello everyone, it is me, Elise, and I am here today taking pictures. I got my first camera when I was like 10, and then I got my first like real camera in the seventh grade, and then it's just been, I've been on a roll since then, you feel me? I definitely would not call myself a photographer. I have dabbled with like senior portraits and event photography. I took photos of my little sister, and that's about it. I specialize mostly in portrait photography and conceptual photography. I set up my own scenes all the time and post them to my Instagram, so I'm so excited to like do that with this winter wonderland snow themed shoot and get it going. It's so bright and sunny today and low key it's kind of warm outside. It's December. That's very weird. But because of that, that means I'm gonna need to buy some fake snow. I'm not 100% sure what section fake snow would be in. I don't think it's, it's probably not this section. I've run into my first problem with this order. I put in a handful of things that I was excited about and then two of them were like, Nope, we can't fulfill those. So I'm either going to have to go physically to a Walmart and stop being spoiled and go get it myself, or find another Walmart to order it and set it aside. The fake snow, turns out it was in the Christmas section instead of the toy section, who would have thought? Now I'm going to drive over to go try and get the stuff that I'm going to need for the crown. I just got an email saying that they canceled my order for the Christmas tree and command hooks. They have all this holly and evergreen and it's even frosted, oh yeah. I'm in the flower section and I'm looking for white flowers, like maybe these or, I like these ones. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them, but I think I'm gonna get these and something else. The flowers are just gonna be part of the, part of something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. It was a different one, but that's cute too. Frosted? Yeah, it was frosted and it was pre. Uh, the one I was looking at was pre lit. And that one's frosted with the burlap. Oh, cool. I got this snow that's like, I don't know, you add water to it and it's supposed to like maximize into snow. And then I just got a bunch of powdery fake snow. I got like flowers. This is to decorate the crown and also my hair. We have two hot glue guns in this house, but I couldn't find it, so I have to buy another one. And then I bought this crown. I'm using it to make the flower crown. Don't worry about it. And this is all gonna go on the crown and whatever excess I have, I'll use to decorate around the scene. Let's begin. I found this tree. It's not the tree that I originally wanted, but I think I like it better because I said that I wanted to do like the monochromatic uh, brown hues. So I think I like that there's a burlap sack at the bottom of this uh, tree. I couldn't get a real backdrop, so I got packs of bed sheets. I'm gonna find a way to hang them on my backdrop stand. And I have fishing line. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to like cut holes into the sheets to to be able to put it on the pole. I'm winging it. Hobby Lobby didn't have enough brown tools so I ended up having to go pink, which I think will still work. I think. I'm actually gonna head to the basement while the crown is drying. In this storage room, we have some old Christmas decorations and I wanna use these trees. I'll have to check my total. The tree and the command hooks. Oh, that came up to what, like? I'm at 154. I'm like $4 and some change over budget. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> I gotta give myself some space. So I'm gonna clear the stuff on this side over so I can have this corner to set my stuff up in. All right, so this is the pot 
and the trees. These are like Christmas decorative trees and they look exactly like how I wanted to set up my scene. So I'm going to put the trees in the pot and then I'll be shooting in the backyard. Yeah, clearly these are perfect for what I need. So far, I am happy with how it's going. So I'm gonna pull out the Christmas tree now and set that up. I think I should stop here because now I'm at the point where I don't know what else to do. It still doesn't feel finished. Initially, I wanted two Christmas trees and to have like a depth of field and create like a forest vibe, but uh, I'm on a budget. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be good to step away from it for maybe like an hour and then I can get back to it. This is the makeup I decided to do. This long, huge white lace and this tool. And I'm gonna make it, a fashion it into like a, some type of dress. It's pretty simple. I don't want anything crazy. I just wanna be able to sh show a little leg and just make it into like this flowy situation. I don't even know if I'll need the tool, but I'll bring it with me. Best part of the holidays, the snacks. This is more work than I was anticipating. The fake snow isn't making it look as much like snow as I wanted it to. So I might have to just Photoshop the snow in. So here's the scene set up. I got the two trees here and here. And then these firewood I stole from the fireplace. Look at my hands. Phew. I'm gonna keep the look pretty simple. I have these gems that I'm going to use like around the edges of my eyes and that'll be what, what pops, but my eyeshadow and foundation is gonna be like freaking simple. I just got mascara on my eyeshadow. Darn it. Those twists, I might look basic while I'm wearing them, but when they come out, they come out looking good. This actually came out really nice. Just the around the eye felt good enough for me. This is the final look. I like how it turned out. My eyebrows are interesting. I've never done this before, but I like the white eyebrows, the white eyelashes, and the headpiece looks really good to me. It's time to shoot. This is what I was able to come up with with the tool. It doesn't look terrible, actually. I don't have as much tool as I should have for something like this, but I'm gonna make this work. Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'm from Southern California and I specialize in creative directing and photography. When I think of Winter Wonderland, it's very like snowy and stuff. Other people is like trees, so I'm just expecting to see something great. Well, Elise, I really like your makeup. I don't do like makeup like that. I look, you don't know how this is what my face looks like all the time when I do shoots. So I really like the makeup. I love the, um, the bokeh effect in the close-up shot and the portrait. I like the portrait one more than I like the full shot one. And the full shot one is kind of dark at the bottom. So you kind of like blend into the background. I kind of wish you were more like in focus, but I really like the whole feel and then the snow that's like overlaid on top. So I really do like your photos and I think you look really pretty. Chiquita, I really like your photo as well. I like the colors and I like the light coming in from the right, but I do wish it was taken from above because I think that would have been like really pretty. And then if the tree was underneath in the sense of like the balloons were surrounding you and the tree and like maybe you're like mm. posing with the tree. So I know who the winner is of the Winter Wonderland Challenge. Drum roll, please. Elise. <laughs> You are the winner and I chose you because I really liked how the portrait shot especially was lit. I liked all the elements of the photo. I thought the um, crown was really cool and that you made it yourself. I liked the background and it did remind me of like a winter wonderland with the snow overlay and everything. So it was beautiful. Thank you so much for um, looking at our photos and giving us some great feedback. You are phenomenal and it's an amazing opportunity to get to work with you. Thank you so, so much for giving me feedback on my photo and working with us today. I really enjoy being able to flex the creative muscles, setting up this stuff. And I'm really excited because now we get to take family pictures with the backdrop that I set up. So we're gonna take advantage of it for sure. Bye. Bye.
Bye. <laughs>